Okay guys, today we're gonna to be working on our 28 horsepower compact tractor. We found that we need a little more weight on the front end when we're using implements and lifting with the rear. We also would like to have forks on the front. So we're gonna build a three point hitch system for the front that works off of a winch and put our forks on there and that'll give us the added weight that we need to counterbalance the back and make it more useful around the, the uh, sawmill shed. So let's start this project. So this is reality, the best laid plans going awry. A whole week's went by since I've turned off the battery disconnect, never had an issue. Of course, I come out this morning, and something overnight drained the battery and I hadn't turned that disconnect off. So it's my own fault, but here we are charging up the battery with the truck. Guys, this is what I got at the end of the first day of fab work on my tractor. I got everything bolted on there so I can remove it from the tractor if, if I want to take it off and paint it and then reinstall it or or just to work on it later or just to remove it. Had to do some trimming back here and bracing a little bit and make room for my hydraulic steer in there, but I got brackets. Everything bolts to threaded holes that were already in the frame of the tractor. I borrowed these lower lift arms off of another old tractor we have here at the ranch. Got these category one link pins there going all the way through the new new subframe and the frame of the tractor there. Get that on both sides. Use this good heavy heavy wall box tubing that were some off runs from a metal fab shop that my friend gave me. I'm gonna come back with some of this three and a half by five L iron, I think. And go across the front with it sticking out a little bit here. Cause I have four John Deere weights that when I don't have a lift or something on the front, I implement giving it extra weight. I can put them weights on there and just make the front end heavier, which will help climbing these hills and it'll help lift them with the rear, the rear, because the forks on the back, they'll lift more than the tractor's balance to, to handle. So that's what I got day one. I have to figure out where my, my third link 
mountain bracket needs to go and put a crossbar up here. I think we're gonna do some bracing right here. Then I gotta come up with a platform for my winch because I'm gonna have a winch up here with the cable going down to lift to lift this because there's gonna be no hydraulics on it. But if nothing else, if this fails, because I'm making it up as I go, I'll have a good bumper and a and weight added to the front of my tractor, which was one of my main goals. So if I get my lift on there, that's just a bonus because none of this has cost me any, anything other than the bolts and the, the pins I put on there that were new. The steel and the, the winch is something we have here on hand. So that's what we got so far. Thank you guys for watching another day's video. Please like, subscribe, and follow us on social media. As always, God gets the glory for the good in our lives. Jesus Christ is the Lord and Savior. Feel free to reach out to us with the email in the description below with any prayer requests, questions, or anything else you can think of. God bless. Mm -hmm.